Happy New Year! And, uh, well, soon to be. I'm, I'm publishing this on New Year's Eve, not, well, hopefully before the stroke of midnight. Uh, so New Year's is to come. And I've decided to do one of these uh, wrap-up reviews, one of the end-of-year um, sort of totaling up what has been accomplished in the year and thinking ahead to the next year. But for, before we get to that, we have to talk about current projects and current completion. What I've completed since Monday is these five guys. These are all Reaper Bones. And we have these undead wolves that I decided to paint as undead winter wolves, as white wolves. And a little bit of snow on their bases and some ribs and meat showing through. Yeah, especially this, this one, I think it looks cool. Uh, but you'll see close-ups taken in the light box. And then we have this female elven ranger who is first generation bones, really crappy detail, really hard to see anything else, any, anything on her. It's, it's, it's all very muddy, except for the cloak. I, I, I was able to do a little bit with the cloak. And I painted this basically with the same blue colors I used on the wolves because I had it on my palette. I just made the end result a bit darker than the wolves. And I didn't push it up all the way to white. Uh, you might not be able to tell, but the extreme highlights on the wolves are actually pure white. But um, there's so much blue on them that that is... It doesn't read it as white. I would have had to... to uh, Oh, uh, start lighter and, and add even more white into the uh, transitionary mixes to make it read as white. And I didn't want to do that because, well, I just felt like doing something very light gray, blue instead, instead of trying to push it to white. So eh, maybe next time. Uh, anyway, so five minis done in less than a week. That's that's okay, even if they're rather simple. The wolves are mostly dry brushing. But uh, I've gotten a little bit done on some of my other projects. Let's uh, go ahead and look at that. Now, <clears throat> on my work table, we have some new stuff. We have those cat folk that have been mentioned and shown in their baggies before. They're now <clears throat> assembled. Well, only this, this guy with the two-handed axe was the only one that needed some assembly. And based and primed. And, and I I think I mentioned this. I thought the bases were too small, so I, I put them on uh, these round just reaper bases. And they just have primer on them. In the back, we have see the elves. They, they have a little bit more work done on them. Um, I've actually finished the quivers and the bows. Uh, don't know if you can tell. And this gem dragon, I put the wings on and added a little bit of color to them. <sighs> I don't know about this guy. I'm... I'm... I feel like I'm really disappointed in, in what I've done. It, I, I, I'm not sure where I'm going with it, and I don't know what to do to save it. Uh, I, I actually kind of like the rock. The big blue and the rock and the blue and the green crystals that he's standing on, they, they look fine to me. But the dragon itself, I just don't know. Um, I might have to just put this guy on the back burner, put him away in a cupboard somewhere and forget about him for a while. And then take him out a month later and for, for look at him with fresh eyes uh, that might be what I have to do because him just sitting on my desk here is is bumming me out and it's it's making me want to work less <laughs> so, so I gotta do something about that uh, anyway um, lots in the works uh, and there is one more project that sort of started Let's look at that. So these guys here are the Rangifers, the those Frost Grave uh, reindeer people. They've been I've been I've, I've 
taken out all the pieces, cleaned them, and I'm getting, re getting ready to assemble. As you can see, it's a lot of pieces. There's a body, there's a left arm, there's a head, and two antlers for each mini. And they all kind of look the same. The bodies are unfortunate, unfortunately all exactly the same. There's two slightly different left arms with simply the size of this flint sword being the only different thing. Uh, I think the heads are maybe slightly different as well, but very slightly. So unfortunately they're all gonna look pretty much the same, but oh well. Um, it's, it's a finicky assembly, lots of pieces that have to be glued together and I have to use super glue and I have to like wait for one part to set before I go on to the next and you know, it's a whole thing. But you know, it'll perhaps be ready on Monday. <laughs> I don't know yet. <laughs> So about <clears throat> half a week after Christmas, I got my box of Christmas minis from Reaper. Uh, so r straight away, this is partly Christmas related minis and partly just normal monsters. I used to fill out the order and there's a bunch of it and none of it's going to get painted right now. The Christmas stuff I will save for future Christmases and the other stuff, well, we'll see. Um, so to give you a brief overview. Here is the actual Christmas sampler, which everyone got, which contains a miniature called St. Nicholas the Mighty. It was a kind of sort of horned god version of, of St. Nick. There's a couple of paints and some candy. Uh, is, uh, this is not a Christmas mini. This was, I think, a bonus mini uh, you, you, I got to choose. The female scribe, Jolie as was this beast man warrior and this dwarven paladin and i think this one as well the the wizard now christmas stuff new christmas minis santa goblin which is a goblin santa claus the dragon cat and cookies i have they, they've had a, a theme of dragon cat minis um, <clears throat> on presents and Christmas trees and various stuff. So this is the latest one. And, and I should note, all these new Christmas themed minis are Bones. I think they're the latest. I think they're Bones USA or, or at least Bones Black. Uh, where previous years they've always been metal. So slight downgrade there. We have the Eldritch Snowman, which is a snowman with a tentacle face. And I think that's it for the the um, yeah, that's it. Um, so the more monsters, here are some bones for previous Kickstarter, the carotid columns, which are sort of living statues. And we have Lots of elementals. I decided I needed elementals. We have a big fire elemental. We have a small pack of lesser elementals. These are tiny little baby elementals, one of each element. I think I have a second pack of that. Uh, yes, here's one. So I have two of each. We have an earth elemental. We have another earth elemental. And yet another earth elemental. And another big fire elemental. And finally, two packs of gogglers with three sort of fish slash frogmen in each. Actually, one of them, yeah. They're sort of Kuotoa, sort of deep ones, but, you know, legally distinct from them. So, yeah. Um, whole bunch of stuff there and as I said uh, some of it I mean I might put some of these old bones into production relatively soon just because they're 
uh, fast and simple to paint and I want to get them out of the way. But otherwise, eh, yeah, I'll, I'll put this aside for now. So, moving on. So what does this all mean? Well, it means I have uh, the second best result ever since I started keeping track. Um, my my total um, of painted minus purchased is is uh, only slightly worse than 2020, which was my record. Now, I painted a record number of minis in 2020. I'm not going back to that, but. I think this level of purchasing and painting is sustainable. I can keep this up for at least a couple, not another couple of years. But as you can see, my uh, closet of shame here still has a lot of stuff in it, as does the other one. Um, meaning that even though I've reduced my total of unpainted minis by 86 since I started uh, apparently I started with a lot before I started keeping track in 2015 so you know I, I, I know last year I floated the idea that maybe I could take an inventory after at the end of this year but nah there's still way too much but uh, and and I, it, it's hard for me to estimate how much is left because, as I think I've mentioned, some some of some of these boxes don't actually contain minis; they contain other uh, material for working with minis. And I mean, this box is just this is my ultrasonic cleaner, as it says on the box. This Bones Four Corset box just contains uh, plastic Reaper bases, for example, and. Well, this thing here is just a toolbox that I'm that is sitting here because I don't have anywhere else to put it. It's just normal uh, tools. <laughs> but so, um, yeah, but still, there's a lot of minis. And, um, but I'm, I'm, I'm still open to the idea of next New Year's around this time. If, if I can keep, as I said, keep this, keep, keep up this, um, pace of work and keep my purchases down, uh, I might be able to take an in inventory next year. <laughs> we'll see. Hopefully I can and, and uh, be able to show you that then. But um, yeah, this is about it for, for this episode. Um, it, it's, it's all I had to show you and, and I'll be back um on monday with the regular episode it there's not going to be a lot of new stuff happening in, in, in two days but you know um uh, it's it's i'm not doing any much else this holiday so i might get some painting done we'll see so i hope you join me then and i hope you give this video a like and and a share and a subscribe and a comment but above all, be back on Monday. Same time as usual, same day of the week as usual, same channel, same Dakian. For now, I'm signing off and wishing you a happy new year.